I uh, had hey, uh, Tyler at ESPN. So you guys have auto qualified for the stage one final. Uh, the three teams, uh, you can four teams you can play are London Spitfire, Los Angeles Valiant, Boston Uprising, and Houston Outlaws. Uh, who do you want to face in the final, and who do you think you'll face in the final? If all three of you can answer. <laughs> 들어왔잖아요. 그래서 이게 네팀 만날 수 있는데 어, 그네팀 중에서 어디를 만나고 싶나요? 어, 어, uh, which teams? Uh, who do you think they'll play? Who do you think? I mean, which teams? So like, it was uh, Outlaws, Outlaws, <웃음> Valiant, Uprising, Spitfire. 그 중에서. For me, I think competing with Boston would be fun because like we had the first match and we have some kind of rivalry and they're really uh, rising like their names so. It's kind of be really fun if you can compete with the Boston, I think. Mm. What do you say? Well, Nintendo? Or? I have all three you can do. Well, they have to go to London. So, <laughs> he wants to smack London once again. I'm going to Boston. Boston is really strong, but I want to try it again. So, recently, Boston is getting really strong, so he wants to like face Boston once again. Thank you. Next question. Hey there, Adam with Action Esports. Um, so going into the season, you guys were, were considered like kind of the, the third slot team. Uh, and throughout the season, you guys have shown that, that obviously you are, you are a first place team. You have what it takes to, to take the win off the whole season. So after, after that game today, um, what are your guys' goals going into stage two? Uh, I know you still have a game to play tonight, but going into stage two with the, the changes and everything, what are your goals and what are you going to do to stay on top? <laughs> <laughs> so probably like getting the you know maintaining this first place for sure. <laughs> Hey, I'm Sam from OverwatchScore.com. What do you think was the keys to your victory over the London Spitfire today? Uh, I think we just really made a straight, made a strat in the game really well because like they use the comp which we haven't expected so I think we handled it well while we were playing games. And he thinks the same. Oh, oh, like here. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Like money. Uh yeah. So, well, John Oxon's high money, sir. Mm. So he um, <laughs> he studied uh, one of his rivals, Bido Sin, a lot. So you know, some things were kind of obvious for him. So. Hi, I'm Mel from Al Recap. Is there any one player that really scares you the most to come up against in the finals? Ah, uh, 혹시 그 이제 uh, for yeah, 그 결승전에서 만나기 싫은 정말 좀 무서운 그런 선수 한 명을 딱 꼽자면 누가 있을까요? 선수요? 네. Can I pick two? <laughs> <laughs> for me, Prophet and Linger, cause like they're really good at pressuring the mercy. So. <laughs> Jake Junkrat. 
Jake Junkrat. Game was from Wine Tattoo Regular. Jake. Junkrat. Yeah, so he's the same thing. Jake Junkrat. Yeah. Jake. Jake. Yeah, Jake Crat. Jake. <laughs> because uh, Jonak says um, Jake as Junkrat like has a lot of impact like throughout the game. So. Hey, Andres from Omnic Lab. Now that you guys have been in the U.S. for a couple of months, have you guys noticed any difference in your gameplay or anything that affects it, that sort of thing? Um, because you've been away from home for a while now. Uh, I was talking to my to my teammates, and that honeymoon period's over at this point, and you guys are in a foreign town. Does that affect your gameplay at all? Like, 어 미국에 와서 이제 뭐 한국에 없기 때문에 연습 환경이 달라졌기 때문에 뭐 본인의 게임의 여, 그 플레이에 영향을 미치는 것들이 좀 있는지 궁금해 하십니다. 저는 그런 거 없었어요. He doesn't have anything like that. For me, I sometimes have some homesick and well, missing some friends maybe in Korea. 어 한국 음식을 못 먹어서 비실됐었어요. Oh, uh, 그건 지금은 아니죠. 지금 아닌데. Yeah, so um, like. At the beginning, when we first got here, um, he couldn't have those uh, Korean food. So, and we are providing Korean food to him recently, so he has no problem. <laughs> Matt from Variety, um, with the rise of esports and the huge popularity of Overwatch, um, what do you think are what, what do you think about esports being included in maybe the 2024 Olympics? And what do you think <laughs> is more is needed to get esports spoken in the same kind of awe and reverence as traditional sports? 그러니까 요즘에 e스포츠 전체가 오버워치뿐만 아니라 굉장히 이제 떠오르고 있잖아요. 전 세계적으로. 그래서 뭐 다음 올림픽이나 2022년이나 뭐그 이후에 올림픽에 뭐 이제 e스포츠 그러니까 게임이 들어갈 수도 있다 이런 얘기가 나오고 있잖아요. 그거에 대해서 어떻게 생각하시는지. 어, 네, 뭐 그런 것들. 뒤에 질문 까먹었네요. 음. Uh, also, like, last question, after the Olympics. Uh, what, is, what other push is needed maybe to get esports thought of in the same kind of... 어, 그러니까 뭐 다른 전통적인 스포츠들과 e스포츠가 게임이 똑같은 레벨이 되려면 어떤 것들이 좀 필요한다고 생각하시는지 그것까지도 좀 말씀해 주시면 좋겠습니다. 음. <laughs> 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 I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I, I think it's going well. Like if you look at, um, I'm just coach for yeah. NYXL, um, Wizard Young. Um, I think it's going well. If you, if you look at Overwatch League, it's basically. It has like the basically the same structure as MLB or like any traditional sport. So it's getting closer and closer. So what's the problem? What I just said. 아니 뭐 다른 MLB나 그런 거랑 뭐다 똑같은 구조를 갖고 있는데 뭐 뭐가 문제냐? 그리고 man, obviously a lot of viewership and a lot of um, um, like money coming into it. So like, yeah. Hmm. Uh, hey, Tyler again. Uh, so uh, Boston and Houston are about to play or already started playing. Uh, what each of all three of you, can you give a prediction of who do you think is going to win between Boston and Houston? Who is going to Boston or Houston? Boston? I'm Houston. I'm <laughs> Houston. <laughs> okay, we'll take one more. Hi, um, Emerald with Blizzard. Um, just wondering, uh, coming into the match with London, how important was it for you guys to get the win and just sort of secure your spot and make sure that you guys are in that final and you don't have to pl play that extra match? And then also, um, how are you going to uh, kind of spend the time preparing for that final match to make sure that you're ready? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> 지금 이 런던 경기를 이기는 게 얼마나 중요했는지 그러니까 왜냐면은 우리가 이제 이기면은 확실히 1등 자리를 확보할 수 있잖아요. 그래서 1등 자리가 되면은 한 경기를 덜 해도 되잖아요. 2, 2 3위 경기를 안 해도 되니까. 그게 팀적으로 얼마나 중요했는지 그리고 이제 그어 2 3위 경기를 안 해도 되니까 그 시간을 이제 어떻게 활용할 건지 뭐 전략적으로 뭐 그런 것들을 좀 물어보고 있는데. First of all, I think it it is, it is great that we can win London cuz like we can get 
well their Atlantic division. So for the future, uh, it's kind of great. And also, well, doing two games in a row is kind of really difficult. So well, we can take some advantage for it, I think. So. Well, so he personally didn't care too much about like winning this match and because um even if you lose he like will like experience he will have like new experience playing like three matches in a, like in one day so it's gonna help him you know being a better player at the end of the day and in a long term so he didn't care too much personally. So we're gonna we're probably gonna watch um the 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 second and third match uh and we're gonna be like talking about our strategy for sure. Thank you NYXL. We'll see you guys later today.